Okay, Blender 4.1. What happened to the Musgrave texture? On the left hand side here you can see I've got Blender 4.0 open. On the right hand side here I've got Blender 4.1 open. Let's delete the cubes. So select the cube, hit the delete key. Select the cube, hit the delete key. Uh, I'm going to do a Shift A and then select Mesh Plane on the right hand side. And the same thing here, Shift A, Mesh Plane. I'll do a 7 on a numeric keyboard, top mode, top mode view, 7 again. Um, I'll also split both screens, so click the mouse here, drag down, like halfway roughly. Same thing here, click, put the mouse there, see that little plus symbol. Left click and drag down, there you go, split the screen. Now the bottom one, I'm going to change the layout from 3D viewport to shader editor. I'll do the same thing here from 3D viewport to shader editor. I'm going to select the, the object uh, top left and then click that little icon here that says material and create a new material. Do the same thing here, select the object, click that little icon there, material, and select a new material. So you can see like in uh, in both views, in, blo in both blenders, I now have like the, the node tree. So what I'll do on the left hand side I'll do a Shift A here, a Shift A, and search for Musgrave. Musgrave. So I've got a Musgrave texture. I plop it in. Uh, I'll do a Control T uh, with the Node Wrangler enabled. So Control T, and I select Object, or actually link the object here to Vector. What do I what do I mean with Node Wrangler enabled? Well, if you click on Edit and Preferences, so Edit Preferences, you can go to Add-ons and search for node and you will see your node wrangler here make sure it's got a tick okay otherwise that control t will not work so always enable in, in all versions of blender the first thing you typically use like enable your enable your node wrangler it's going to save you some time so i can close it again then uh also here i want to i want to move to my uh what is it called it's called the viewport shading mode so you click on viewport shading mode Give it some time. Well, of course, you need to connect your Musgrave texture first to your principal BSDF. So click and drag to the base color. There you go. Now I can zoom in and you can see your Musgrave. And you're like, cool, wow, I've got a Musgrave texture. So now, of course, like in Blender 4.1, you do the same thing. So you go Shift A, let's do a search, and let's search for Musgrave. And guess what? It's gone! <laughs> You're like, what? Because <laughs> you use this quite a lot, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an often used texture, I think, within... Uh, well, probably one of the most often used textures within Blender. Wouldn't surprise me at all. So, but you can still get, like, some Musgrave effect, and almost the same effect. Just go Shift-A here, and search for Noise. So, find your Noise texture. There you go. Do the same thing. Ctrl-T, remember? Ctrl-T. Connect your object to your vector. Connect your uh, your vector to your base color, and make sure you go to your viewport shading mode. Now it doesn't really look the same. No, not yet. So you then I'll, I'll zoom in on my noise texture. You want to change FBM into hetero terrain. Now it looks almost the same. You see, it's not bad at all. I mean, there's there's still small differences. Look at like that little. This is like more. It's got like more of a corner here. And this one is a little bit more rounder. I mean, but it looks pretty much like the same. Anyways, let me know if you're able to create exactly the same one. I mean, this is for me, it means close enough, to be honest. But you may want to get it even closer and then you may want to get them identical. But uh, I don't know how to do that as yet. But this is pretty, pretty nice already. Uh, if you want to contrast the, the, the black and the whites a bit more, you can always do a Shift A, search for your color ramp. There you go, color ramp, chuck your color ramp in there between the Musgrave texture and the principal BSDF, chuck it in there. And then move the black and the white sliders closer to each other. So you can move the white slider to the left, and you'll see like I get like more and more and more contrast. I'll move the black slider a little bit to the right. There you go. Now it's really, really full contrast. So I'll do the same thing here. So let's see. Shift A, search for a color ramp. Chuck it in there. Now I want to use the same uh, the same locations. So I click on the black slider here. Uh, 
yeah, on the black slider. So the black slider is like 0 0.168. I can just click in there and do a Ctrl C, copy the value. So the same thing here, I click on the black slider, click in the position and do a Ctrl V, hit enter, that's number one. Then I click on the white slider here. I said the white slider. Is it the white slider? No, this is a white slider. So there you go. Ctrl C it. Ctrl C the value. Go to the white slider here. Click on the position and do a Ctrl V. And now you can see like, is it identical? Well, that looks, yeah, no, it's still, it's still a bit more rounder. It's, it looks more rounder on the left hand side now compared to the right hand side, but they're pretty close. They're pretty close. You see like this thing is like connected here. This one seems connected. Well, here there's a little bit of a gap, <laughs> so it's, but it's close enough. Again, if you're able to find uh, a way to make them identical, let me know. But this is for now uh, how you can, uh, well, kind of like get like the Musgrave texture inside Blender 4.1 by actually using the noise texture and setting, setting this uh, parameter uh, from FBM to hetero terrain. Okay, that's it. Uh, have fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.